Hi, welcome to my channel, or welcome back to my channel, whatever the case may be for you. Uh, today, you know, normally I do reaction videos. I'm not necessarily a reaction channel, but I do mostly reaction videos. Today, we're going to do something a little bit different, something I've talked about doing for a while. And most people probably figured I was joking or assumed I was joking, but no, no, I'm not. This is uh this is this is real. This is legit. I'm doing doing a fragrance review today. I am infiltrating the fucking fragrance community because really I'm part of the fragrance community. I may not do fragrance videos until now, but you know, I've mentioned fragrances in videos before. I did that little uh, battle of the blues thing a while back in one of my uh PRS videos. Um PRS, uh, Patreon requests here. Yeah, PRS, okay. Uh, you know, when I, when I put Versace, uh, Dylan Blue up against Blue de Chanel, um, you know, and I, I in a couple of my recent videos, I, I've mentioned some fragrances. Uh, but yeah, so now we're gonna, this video is gonna be about fragrances. Uh, I'm gonna talk about a few inexpensive, uh, fragrances. I'm terrible at this. Okay, so the first one we're going to talk about today, I am not uh, too terribly fond of, but that is irrelevant because apparently a lot of people, uh, especially men, love this fragrance. Like, guys fucking love the shit out of this fragrance. Um, and, and, and it's not even this fragrance specifically that they love. It is a niche fragrance fragrance from the house Creed called Aventus. I'm sure you've all probably heard of it. Uh, if not, you know, you you will at some point. Um, but yeah, so there there's this fragrance, Creed Aventus. It's, it's a niche fragrance, but it's very popular. It's very expensive. Uh, people love the shit out of it. Um, I personally don't understand the hype I, I don't think it smells like that fucking unique or fantastic. Um, but, uh, so the fragrance I'm going to talk about is Club de Nuit Intense Man by Armoff, which is a Middle Eastern house. This is a, a cheapie, but uh, for what it is, you can't really go wrong if you like this kind of vibe. So you can find it on sites like Fragrance X for uh, right now thirty three ninety nine. Now, why I mentioned Creed and I'm mentioning this is Armoff is known. They're infamous for cloning high end designer and niche fragrances. This Club de Nuit, Club de Nuit Intense Man is a clone of Creed Aventus. Now, of course, Creed Aventus, you know, I think it costs like three or four hundred dollars for, you know, a 3.4 ounce bottle or, or 3.2 with three point something ounce bottle. It's like three or four hundred dollars. Um, this, you know, a 3.6 ounce bottle um, is thirty three ninety nine. And, uh, you know, it unless you got a super like, you know what you're smelling, like your nose is that developed for niche fragrances and being able to to spot clones and shit um it's pretty fucking close i i will give it that it is pretty fucking close um you know just passing by someone wearing this um i i would i would initially assume they were wearing creed um if if i smelled it at, at first so yeah you, you could wear this and, and probably lie and get away with it and tell people you're wearing Creed uh, if you want to be that guy or or that that woman or you know that you know person um so yeah let, fragrance X describes this uh, as a woody spicy fragrance for men it's many and varied accords make it well suited to daytime and evening wear throughout the year and to everyday and special occasions. The cologne opens with tangy notes of apple, bergamot, black currant, lemon, and pineapple. Um, a fruity, citrusy explosion that imparts energy and freshness. Um, the heart notes of birch, jasmine, and rose provide a woody, floral center that soothes and inspires with its romantic effect. 
um, ambergris, musk, and patchouli and vanilla compose the foundation that is both spicy and smooth. A well-balanced finish to a full-bodied fragrance. Um, you know, I mean, that's all, that's pr pretty accurate. I mean, I, of course, like with most fragrances, you can't really pick up all of those notes. You're not going to smell all of those notes and be able to individually identify them and be like, ooh, the, there's the the patchouli, there's the vanilla, there's the rose, you know. I mean, so some people might be able to, uh, not me. Um, but it, it is long lasting. It's it's got great longevity. It's got great projection. Um, it's not my fra favorite fragrance by any means, like I said, because I feel like it's very played out. Um, but for what it is, if you're into that kind of vibe, um, you can't really go wrong with this. Uh, I, would I suggest purchasing it? Sure. Um, again, I'm not a big fan of Creed fragrances. I haven't smelled that many of them, but, and this is going to sound stupid and childish and, you know, I don't care. Uh, but whenever, like, I think of Creed, this is what I think of. How about I say, yes, yes, yeah. So, yeah, I, I admit, I know that that's stupid. But, uh, you know, some niche houses I just don't particularly, particularly care for. I just feel like this particular scent, this particular vibe is like well overdone. But people still love it. It still gets compliments. I don't wear it. I've worn it like once or twice um, to the grocery store. I think somebody complimented me. I can't remember. If you smelled Creed Aventus and you, you like that vibe, you like that scent, but you just don't want to drop three to $400 on a bottle, uh, do I suggest this? Sure. Yeah, pick it up. Can't go wrong. Um, so let's, let's, let's move along. All right, so this next one you can literally find on FragranceX.com right now for $18.66. Yes, $18.66. And for what you get, that is a killer fucking price. Can you blind buy this and be be confident? Sure, I did. Um, I actually bought this on Amazon for $25. I didn't think to look on FragranceX first um which i should have done but this uh i'm I, I blind bought this and i am happy about my purchase this is guess seductive Om noir um this is you know it's uh, i don't want to say a low-end designer but you know i mean it kind of is um but this is a great fragrance for that price um it it opens up it, it's kind of sweet um, initially, um, and it, it, it dries down into this like sensual kind of laundry-ish, like fresh laundry kind of, I don't know, it's sensual, but let me do, I, I'm terrible at describing fragrances, so I'm just going to, I'm going to let, I'm going to read this description here. Um, Guess Seductive Om Noir Cologne by Guess. Make a strong, powerful statement anywhere you go when you're sporting guest seductive Homme Noir, a bold men's fragrance. This intriguing cologne boasts spoos spoosy. This intriguing cologne boasts spicy, fruity, floral, and aromatic accords for a well-rounded scent that works with any professional or casual attire. I will say this is very versatile. Like you can wear this in any situation, any time of year, day or night, wear it on a date, wear it to the club, wear it to the bathroom, wear it on a porn set, like wherever you want to wear it. It's it's unique, but it's safe, if that makes sense. Um, the top notes include nutmeg, grapefruit, and black pepper for an eye-opening start that immediately awakens the senses. It is not wrong. Uh, I love this fragrance. I really do. Um, I have worn this to work work, and gotten compliments. Um, meanwhile, notes of orange blossom, lavender, and apple 
lend a softer, sweeter approach that's entirely appealing. Um, completing the base are notes of amber, tonka bean, and sandalwood for a warm, soft finish that lingers in the air around you, attracting those nearby without any doubt or question. Um, yeah, this is a this is a very very modern, very sensual fragrance that uh, is still casual and versatile that you can feel confident and and safe wearing uh anytime anywhere uh i i highly for the price and what you get you know a 3.4 ounce bottle of this for 18 dollars um you're not going to smell like anyone else uh there's not going to be a lot of other people wearing this you know um it's cheaper than you know any any of these other like you know twenty dollar range fragrances you're gonna find at Walmart any of your you know Nautica or Perry Ellis Curve any of Zorro any of that shit um, it, it's gonna be unique and uh, you're probably gonna garnish some compliments with it um, I definitely recommend this all right so the last one I'm gonna talk about is uh, by Jesus Del Pozo. Uh, it is called Halloween Man X. This is a very unique fragrance, and it, it's, it comes in a very cool bottle with this like blue to black gradient, uh, which is very cool. Uh, this is a really, really sweet fragrance. I mean, it's almost sickeningly sweet. Uh, so if you're into that, you'll love this. So this is this is such a unique fragrance uh you know i have mixed feelings about it i haven't really worn it out yet i've worn it around the house just because like i'm trying to get a feel for it and if like i want to wear it out i don't know um so you know the description on fragrance x uh you know they say make a powerful statement anytime you enter a room they're not kidding uh, when you're wearing Halloween Man X, a daring men's cologne. Again, not kidding. This rugged fragrance blends citrus, spicy, gourmand, and aromatic accords for a rich and robust elixir you'll feel endlessly confident parading around town. I don't know about that. I, I don't. I haven't felt uh, endlessly confident, but I haven't paraded it around town yet either. I've just paraded it around my apartment. Um, top notes of lemon, cardamom, open the scent with a fresh burst of uh, olfactory intensity, awakening the senses immediately. Uh, yeah, it, it's, yeah. Uh, meanwhile, notes of cinnamon bark, leather, roasted coffee, whiskey, and various mineral cords at the heart provide a magnetic and highly masculine atmosphere that's impossible to ignore. Finally, base notes of smoky incense, tonka bean, and amber finish the aroma with a sensual, exotic kick, completing what is a full-bodied result that's sure to have heads turning in your direction. Uh, yeah, it's very sweet. Uh, you know, when it, it dries down, it has this, like, roasted coffee bean kind of feel going on. Um, it, I mean, it, it, it smells like burnt coffee. Uh, but not in a bad way, I guess. It is a very unique and very bold fragrance for sure. Like you're gonna get attention when you wear this. I don't know. I can't. I can't speak to whether you're gonna get positive attention or negative attention. But you know, I bought this based on other people in the community's reviews. Uh, you know, I several people had nothing but positive things to say about this fragrance, so I blind bought it. Um, based off of that and uh, I don't know how I feel about it you know even even some of the reviews it, it's got mixed reviews uh, on the websites but you know I mean it's got 4.6 stars on uh, based off of a hundred reviews on fragrance X so I mean that's that says something um, you know if, if you're daring if you like taking chances if you want to try something uh, you know, I would, I would, I would definitely suggest giving it a shot. Uh, you can find it on uh, FragranceNet.com uh, currently with the twenty-five percent off coupon for thirty dollars and seventy-four cents, um, which you know, for a four-point-two ounce bottle, 
you know, not a bad deal. Not a bad deal at all. Uh, I mean, I, I feel somewhat confident in, in recommending this. Uh, but again, only if you like really sweet, like gourmand fragrances. Uh, because this is this is an intense, unique, daring fragrance. Um, and it's cheap. You know, it, it does it does have a synthetic feel to it. Um, but for the price and what you get, uh, it's worth it. I, I would I would I would feel relatively confident in suggesting this to people who are into those kind of vibes and fragrances. So yeah, that's uh that's gonna conclude my suggestions for cheap fragrances today. Um, because that's really all I have in the realm of cheap fragrances. <laughs> So if you're new to the channel and you want to see uh, more fragrance videos or you want to stick around and check out some of the cool reaction videos that I've got coming soon or just some of the weird dark shit that's going to start happening, uh, go ahead and hit the subscribe button and join the Moral Militia today because uh, we get weird around here. It's a cult. And, uh, you know, to everyone who's been here supporting me for a while, I appreciate you very much and thank you and uh you know there's links in the description to stuff and things uh they're like this dope ass shirt uh you can find in my merch store uh as well as many other really awesome fucking shirts that you could rock and look like a badass in uh so in the meantime i'm gonna go <laughs>